Welcome back to another Jamit.com Tuesday drum lesson. And this drum lesson, I'm going to go over a Billy Cobham groove from the song Stratus. So download Stratus onto your Jamit app. Now, I was able to really practice this groove and get the feel down uh, with the Jamit app because I could actually turn off the rest of the band and listen to the uh, actual recording that played by Billy Cobham. That alone is really cool, even if you're not going to learn this song, just to listen to um, Billy Cobham play it is really neat. Also, you can take it and slow it down and repeat this part that we're going to do over and over so that you can really get the feel of it. So I'll start with measure four, and actually if you click on intro in the Jammit app, it'll take you right there. This is written with uh, quarter notes and eighth notes to make it easier to read. As you get further along in this song, there's some crazy drum fills, and it's really helpful this way. I'm going to count it um, kind of in cut time as eighth notes and sixteenth notes. It's a little easier to get the, the rhythm in your head when you count it that way. So measure four, one and two, and uh. There we have a ghost stroke, and it's just a drop of the stick, very light. So practice that. You don't want it to be too loud or stand out. It shouldn't really stand out any more than the hi-hat. Now measure five, I'll start uh, counting at three. Three E and a four E and uh. So the go stroke after three. Three E and just two drops. And then after the four, you've got, uh, it's kind of an echo effect. Four, four E and uh. Three E and a, four E and uh. Four and five put together. Just so you can see the effect that the ghost stroke has on this rhythm, I'll play it without the ghost strokes. So it's kind of boring. Now with them. It really brings it to life. Measure six, we've got one E and a, two E and a. So measure six repeats uh, measure five. And measure seven almost repeats it, but it has an open hi-hat on count four. And you're going to leave that open all the way until one. So you'll have a ghost stroke while it's open, close on one. Measure eight. Here we've got another open hi-hat, counting on measure eight. One E and two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh. So measure 10, 1 E and 2 E and duh. Now here we have an accented stroke because it's starting a drum fill. And Billy Cobham likes to mix up the toms. A lot of times we're used to hearing the toms going down. And he mixes it up. So check this out. And a lot of the fills throughout this song go up the toms, down, down and up, or mix it all up. It's really cool. So look at 10 again. I'll do the counting of this. 1 E and 2 E and a 3. I do a 3 and then I hit a right stick again. Right, right, left. And that's just so that I can go down the toms without getting my sticks crossed up. And this crashes on the uh. It's very syncopated. And you'll notice that there's a hi-hat playing eighth notes. So... So by playing that crash on the uh, it pulls the fill and makes it syncopated, and there's nothing on count one of the next measure. So on, on measure 12, there's nothing played, the crash is ringing out, and then the bass drum comes in on the and. 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 So I'll put the whole thing together and play it for you at normal speed, and then I'll slow it down. And there you have it. It's another Jamit drum lesson. If you haven't checked out Jamit yet, make sure you go to Jamit.com and you can check out all the cool things it does and start learning songs. Keep drumming.